Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, in this video, I just wanted to uh, give an update um, on the T-Mobile 5G home internet uh, tower monitorization that they were supposed to be doing in my area. Um, so I've been talking about this uh, for a few weeks now. They told me on the uh, chat um, when I talked to them online on the online chat through the app um, the T-Mobile app, they told me, um, that, uh, they were doing tower modernization, particularly on the 5G in my area, um, and they told me that it was supposed to be completed April 27th, so it is actually April 27th, it's, it's 2.50 p.m., um, on a Saturday on April 27th, um, almost 3 o'clock. Um, so I figured, you know, that I, that I would make a video, you know, I haven't really seen, uh, changes, um, you know, on my phone or anything with the speeds or anything or with the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to go up in the attic right now, um, and I'm actually going to unplug it and plug it back in, um, and I'm going to see if anything changes. I'm going to see if I get a, a good signal or a weak signal still for the 5G. Um, and keep in mind, I do have fans running up here. Um, it is actually 64 degrees out right now outside. Um, so I want to, you know, make sure it's as, you know, as, it's cool as possible up here. Um, but I'm actually going to unplug this, um, and I'm going to see if I get any, uh, you know, changes or anything. It is actually showing a weak signal. Um, so I'm going to unplug it for a minute and, you know, and just let it, you know, sit for a minute. I'm going to plug it back in now. So, yeah, I, I haven't seen anything, you know, different on my phone. Um, while I'm actually doing that, I can actually turn off my uh, Wi-Fi here and I can connect to the mobile data. Um, and as you can see, you know, I also have T-Mobile for my uh, mobile carrier as well. Um, you know, I bundle with them. You know, that's the best way to save money, you know, so... Um, but I've been with T-Mobile for years anyway. I've been with Metro by T-Mobile. I've been with Telemobile, which is an MBNO of T-Mobile. Um, you know, I've just been, you know, with T-Mobile, you know, basically my whole life around here. So, um, you know, I, I figured that I would give their, you know, home internet a shot as well, you know, since I've been with them for so long. So, um, but anyway, this is actually restarting the Chester Cheetah version too. And like I've always said, um, you know, I, I forgot to actually say that in the beginning of this video, you know, because I am going to do some speed tests after this, um, you know, to see what we get, you know, see if there's any improvement, um, you know, since it is actually April 27th now, um, and they told me that it was going to be completed today, so we'll see, um, but it's still, you know, it's still not the end of the day, so, you know, you also have to keep that in mind, but I will be doing an updated video, um, you know, later tonight, so, um, but, uh, it is actually back up and running, so I'm going to go back, uh, here to the, uh, to the Wi-Fi, and, uh, connect to the Wi-Fi here. I'm actually going to go down from here, so it is actually still showing a weak 5G signal, so that's definitely, uh, you know, not a good sign, so I'm going to go down from here away from these fans. So, uh... We'll see what we get here, but, you know, I'm not really expecting any miracles, <clears throat> excuse me, any miracles. So, uh, let's actually open up the speed test app here. Um, West Norton PA, I'll run uh, some on that and then some on the uh, Ashburn VA server. So that's definitely not bad for just restarting the Chester Cheetah version 2 or unplugging it, you know, and, and restarting it that way. That's definitely not too bad. So 515 on the download on that one, 14.5 for the upload. So the upload seems to be, uh, you know, up a little bit this morning or this afternoon. Um, so that's definitely a good sign. Then 39 ping, so the ping is still, you know, high. But you also have to keep in mind, you know, that I, re I just restarted it. So, you know, it's going to, you know, take a little while for it to, you know, get settled back in. And as you can see, you know, there is a ping spike right there. But that's that, that's normal once you restart it. You know, if you move these gateways or anything, you know, they're very, um, you know, they're very touchy. So you have to keep that in mind. 
If you do any kind of, you know, if, if you restart it, if you, you know, move it ever so slightly, you know, stuff like that kind of throws off the, you know, the balance of them and stuff. So not bad on that one, you know, for like I said, you know, just restarting it, you know, 468 for the download, 10.2 uh, for the upload, and 95 ping, but, you know, like I said, I just, I did just restart it, so you have to keep that in mind. After you restart it, you know, it normally gives it, you know, it normally takes a couple hours or so to get, you know, settled back in, you know, with the speeds that you're accustomed to getting. And I am actually moving around with my phone right now, so that could also have something to do with it. It might be switching, uh, like, Wi-Fi bands or something as well. I also do have a uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E mesh system hooked up to this, so you guys have to keep that in mind that I might, um, you know, receive, you know, faster speeds sometimes and then slower speeds depending on what band I'm on. Um, because I have a 6 gigahertz band on the Wi-Fi Pro 6E, um, you know, with the Google Wi-Fi Pro 6E mess system. So, um, I can actually see what band I'm on. Let me actually check that. And uh, go in here. So, it's actually on 5 gigahertz right now. So, that's a little bit slower than, you know, than uh, 6 gigahertz, but... So yeah, it still it still looks like it's uh you know not not as fast you know as it as it you know I, I mean I'm I'm still getting the you know same speeds 500 to 600 you know that's what we basically get you know in other words but I'm not you know I'm I'm not seeing any improvement you know any drastic improvement you know with the upload especially so that's that's definitely not a good sign. So not bad on the download on that one, 563 for the download, 5.16 for the upload, and 108 for the ping. But like I said, you know, I just restarted it, um, so, you know, the ping is going to, you know, spike and stuff like that. Let me uh, go over the Ashburn VA server and run some on that. And the ping is always higher on this server for some reason, I don't really know why, but it just is. But if you guys do actually want to get faster speeds with T-Mobile 5G home internet or any uh, cellular home internet, I highly recommend, um, you know, upgrading your Wi-Fi, you know, to like a Wi-Fi mesh system. Um, you know, you might not even need a Wi-Fi mesh system, but I, I would recommend, you know, if you have like a three-story house like we do, um, I would highly recommend getting a Wi-Fi mesh system, you know, it's just easier, um, you know, and it's just all around better than, you know, using like, uh, like, like access, you know, points and stuff like that, you know, I, I used to do that, I actually used to use a Linksys, um, Wi-Fi, uh, repeater or something it was called, um, and, you know, I, I had that, you know, set up upstairs, and that was like a separate network for upstairs, um, and then, you know, when they started coming out with the mesh Wi-Fi systems, you know, I eventually, um, you know, saved up money, you know, and, and bought, you know, them, um, and, and at first I actually had the Amazon Eero, um, Wi-Fi mess system, it was actually a Wi-Fi 6 Plus system, um, which is not Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 6E is actually the newest one, um, out right now, and, and, you know, they have Wi-Fi 7, but, you know, I'm not, um, you know, really that worried about it, you know, Wi-Fi 7 isn't really that much different, um, my Google Pixel 8 Pro would support Wi-Fi 7, but I have, uh, you know, I, I have stuff that wouldn't even support Wi-Fi 7, so, um, you know, there's, you know, not really any, you know, need in upgrading, you know, in, in my opinion, um, but with the, uh, with the Amazon, uh, Eero, uh, 6 Plus, I wasn't actually able to get, um, I wasn't actually able to get Wi-Fi 6E, um, excuse me, um, but, uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, I mean, it's not really, you know, that much of a difference, you know, when it comes to the Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, um, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there is a difference, but it's not, um, you know, really noticeable, you know, unless you have actual devices that actually can use, um, you know, Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, I have, you know, latest devices, you know, I have a, you know, a lot of updated devices, you know, like my Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, my Google Pixel 7a, I believe 
that that can support it. Um, but you know, for people that don't have devices that's that can support it, like my um, you know old Lenovo laptop, you know that that can't support it. You know, well technically it can support it because I actually have a USB um, Wi-Fi dongle, a wi Wi-Fi six uh, dongle um, for it, so it can actually support it. But it's still not um, you know as good as it you know as as you know it's just not as good you know if you don't have a device that can actually support it you know hardware wise. So. Um, but not bad on this one, 558 for the download, 19.8, almost 20 for the upload, um, and then, uh, 60 ping, but like I said, you know, the ping is, you know, gonna, um, you know, be higher because of the, you know, the reboot that I did. So yeah, I'm not I'm not really overly all impressed right now, you know, with this. I'm not, you know, uh, it's definitely uh, not looking like they, you know, really did any upgrades or anything, you know, so far anyway. Um, you know, like I said, it is three o'clock now. You know, it's three p.m. You know, it's still Saturday. You know, I'm still going to give it, you know, some more time. Um, but it doesn't, you know, look like to me, you know, that anything's really improved. Um, you know, especially on my phone, you know, I showed you guys, you know, I was up in the attic and I was still only getting, um, you know, 4G LTE up there. I wasn't getting, you know, 5G, um, you know, so that's definitely not a good sign. And, um, I, I walked around the house today, you know, before I actually made this video, um, and, you know, I, I wasn't getting, you know, 5G, you know, UC, um, you know, which is normally, you know, what I get on my phone around here, um, you know, I, I wasn't getting it, you know, I was only getting it in my sister's old room where I'm at right now, um, and I was occasionally getting it in my room, um, upstairs, but, you know, I, I still don't, you know, really see much of a difference, you know, I, I really don't see much of a difference, um, you know, especially in the upload speed and the ping and stuff, you know, I just don't see a difference, so, um, you know, I, I have to wonder, you know, if they really even did anything, but, um, you know, like I said, you know, the day's not over, you know, I'll give it some more time, um, you know, but I figured, you know, that I would get a video out, you know, and, and restart the gateway, um, you know, on this video with you guys, you know, and let you guys, you know, see, um, you know, for yourselves and stuff, you know, that it hasn't really, you know, improved much, so, um, you know, like I said, I wasn't going to hold my breath on it, you know, I, I said that in my, you know, previous videos, um, you know, I wasn't going to hold my breath on it, you know, like I said, you know, because if I do, I'd be dead, um, so, you know, um, you know, it, it, you know, it just is what it is, you know, like I said, it's not the end of the day yet, you know, but it's getting close to it, um, you know, and I, I kind of don't have, you know, a good feeling about it, to be honest with you, I, you know, I, I just don't have a good feeling about it, you know, it could, it, it could wait until Monday, maybe, maybe Monday, um, you know, I'll see an improvement or something, because it is, you know, the end of the week, you know, it's a weekend, um, you know, maybe they, maybe they're, you know, not working on it, you know, for the weekend or something, but, um, you know, I, I just don't have a good feeling about it now, you know, so, um, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, you know, like I said, you know, I can deal with these kind of speeds, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really one that actually looks at my phone all the time, it's like, oh, it's too slow, um, you know, oh, it's too, you know, it's not, you know, fast enough, oh, the upload speed sucks, you know, stuff like that, I'm not, um, I'm not really one that really worries about that kind of stuff, you know, to the point, you know, you know, where I'm, where I'm actually gonna jump ship or anything from T-Mobile 5G home internet, um, you know, for me and my mom, you know, it's perfect because it's cheap, um, and, you know, there's not, you know, there's not that many other, um, you know, options in this area, you know, we're in a rural area, um, and there's just not many options, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not mad about it at all, you know, really with the, with the, uh, you know, the speeds, I mean, the speeds are great, you know, most of the time, you know, 500 to 600 on the download, um, but the, the upload is where I get, you know, kind of angry sometimes, you know, like I said, I don't really worry about it, um, you know, when I'm actually uploading something, but when I actually see the speeds, um, you know, on the speed test, you know, and, and, and I've said this before too, you know, the speed test, you know, results are not always accurate 
accurate as well. Um, so you have to keep that in mind too. You know, this is, you know, the, these are, you know, coming from a server themselves, you know, so it's not going to always be a hundred percent accurate, um, you know, with the speed tests. And, you know, like I've said, um, you know, I have different, you know, Wi-Fi bands, you know, that I have going, you know, I've, I've, I have a uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, um, you know, with the Wi-Fi Pro 6E, you know, the Google Wi-Fi Pro 6E, um, that supports 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. Um, so you, you, have, you have to keep that in mind, you know, that I that I might, you know, experience faster speeds on my Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, you know, compared to other devices. So um, that don't actually have, you know, 5 gigahertz or don't actually have 6 gigahertz. Most, you know, most of them have 5 gigahertz, but most of them don't have 6 gigahertz. So you have to keep that in mind. Um but not too bad on this one, uh, 610 for the download, definitely not bad for the download on that one, uh, 22.4 for the upload, um, and then 112 for the ping, but like I said, you know, this, th this server is always higher on the ping for some reason, and it's always, um, you know, the, well, not always, but, um, it's, it's been doing that, uh, you know, recently, you know, I don't know why a lot of people have actually been complaining, um, about ping spikes with T-Mobile, so I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. I can actually check the down detector app in a minute here after the speed test is done. So not bad on that one though, 612 or 615 for the download, um, 12 even for the upload, and then 78 ping. So let me actually, uh, check the, uh, down detector app here and see, see if, uh, anything's going on at T-Mobile. So it still is in the red quite a bit, as you can see. And it's saying 36, <coughs> excuse me, 36% um, for 5G home internet. So that's definitely not good. And 36% for mobile phone. Um, so that's that's definitely not good. I don't know what it is with T-Mobile, though. They always seem to have, you know, some kind of problem going on with either their phone network or their or their um, you know, their T-Mobile 5G home internet network, you know, I, it, whether, you know, I, I mean, we're not going to switch or anything, you know, like I said, because we don't have many options in this area, but, you know, I, I really hope that they would, you know, I really hope that they, um, you know, improve their network, you know, soon, because the thing is, I mean, it's just, um, you know, it, it's, it's kind of bad because, you know, I, 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 you know, don't, I don't want to switch to Verizon or anything. I don't want to switch to AT&T because they're even worse, um, in this area. You know, like I said before, you know, I've tried Verizon, um, and Verizon, you know, just didn't work for me. You know, it just wasn't good enough in, in the house. Um, you know, our house, you know, you have to realize too, our house is old. It's over a hundred years old. Um, you know, it's got a lot of old, you know, uh, you know, like shingles and stuff on it. You know, it's got thick walls. Um, it's got, uh, aluminum siding, which is a bad thing. Um, you know, for mobile internet, you know, especially, um, you know, metal roofs, you know, stuff like that, anything like that, you know, can, you know, uh, cause speeds to be, you know, fluctuating and stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I, you know, really don't want to switch to another carrier, um, but, you know, I'll, I'll give it a few more years, you know, I'll give it a few more years, um, you know, with the T-Mobile 5G home internet, but if it doesn't improve, um, you know, in the next, you know, couple of years or so, you know, like I've said, I've been with them two and a half, you know, almost three years now, um, you know, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna jump ship or anything anytime soon, but, um, if it, if it doesn't improve, you know, in the, in the coming years, you know, maybe one or two years, um, you know, I'm probably gonna, you know, look into other options because, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm just tired of the inconsistency with the upload speeds mostly. Um, you know, I just get, you know, so tired of the inconsistency, um, you know, not only with the, with the upload speeds, but also with the ping, um, you know, with the download speeds, you know, like I said, for me and my mom, um, you know, it's perfectly usable, but, um, you know, with third party equipment that I have, you know, I shouldn't be dealing with this, you know, inconsistency, you know, with the ping spikes, um, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the, the five G internet, you know, sometimes going down, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, I, I just shouldn't be dealing with that, um, you know, it's just, you know, inexcusable in my opinion, you know, in 2024, it's just inexcusable, um, so let me actually run uh, a couple more here on the West Norton PA server, and I apologize if you guys hear that creaking, it's because of the, uh, old, you know, the old, uh, floors that we have here, 
I'm just walking around, you know, trying to, you know, uh, wake myself up. I actually got up not long ago, so. That's the only bad thing about working night shift is that, you know, you, you want to sleep basically all day. You know, you basically sleep your weekend away, which is, you know, basically sad. But it is what it is. So on this one, uh, not bad though, 603 for the download, 9.27 for the upload, and only 23 ping. So that definitely wasn't bad. I mean, I do end up getting aggravated in these videos sometimes, you know, and I apologize for that, but um, it is it is frustrating, you know, it is it is frustrating to deal with a service, you know, that's, uh, you know, that, that can be inconsistent sometimes, you know, especially for the upload, you know, the upload, um, you know, I'm, I'm not blaming T-Mobile on this, you know, I'm blaming all the carriers on this in this area, you know, the upload speeds, um, you know, it doesn't matter who you have, like I've said, you know, the upload speeds are just terrible in this area, um, it doesn't matter if, if, if you have Verizon, it doesn't matter if you have T-Mobile, um, it doesn't matter if you have AT&T, it doesn't matter if you have MBNOs of the carriers, um, actually, if you have MBNOs of the carriers, they would probably be even worse speeds, um, because they're, they're deprioritized over, you know, top users, um, you know, on the T-Mobile 5G home internet, or the T-Mobile, um, not the T-Mobile 5G home internet, but the T-Mobile network, um, you know, like MVNOs, like my mom has, you know, like Teller Mobile, um, which is actually owned by, uh, by T-Mobile, um, you know, her, her data is deprioritized, you know, over mine, um, you know, because I actually have T-Mobile, um, you know, same with Metro by T-Mobile, you know, their data is deprioritized over, you know, over, over me, you know, because I'm, I'm actually with T-Mobile, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not actually with an MVNO, so you have to keep that in mind as well, um, you know, that your, your upload speeds would probably be even worse, um, you know, you have an MVNO versus the, you know, the actual carrier, um, so, uh, not bad on this one, though, 621 for the download, 8.23, uh, for the upload, and only 25 ping, I'll actually run one more here, So the speeds actually do seem to get, be getting back up on par, you know, with what, you know, they normally are. At least that's one good thing. But they're still, you know, they're still not improved, you know, they're still not, uh, you know, any better, you know, than they were, you know, they're still not, you know, fast or more reliable, you know, it doesn't seem like, so that's definitely, um, you know, not a good sign, you know, like I said, it is April 27th, you know, and they told me, um, you know, that it was supposed to be completed by April 27th. Sometimes, um, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I think they just tell you that, um, you know, hoping that you'll just stay with them, um, you know, and if I find out that's the case, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be too happy about that, you know, I'm definitely not, um, you know, I'm not going to be happy if they lied to me about this, so, um, but, you know, like I said, it is 3.12 p.m., you know, it's 3 o'clock, um, you know, so it's not, it's not actually the rest of the day yet, you know, it's still not, um, you know, the, the end of the day yet, you know, not the rest of the day, the end of the day, um, you know, it's still not the end of the day yet, so, um, you know, they, they could still, you know, possibly be, you know, putting on the finishing touches or whatever, but, um, I, I kind of have a bad feeling about it, honestly, I kind of have a bad feeling, um, you know, that nothing's gonna really change, you know, anytime soon, I just have that feeling now, um, you know, that it doesn't look like anything's really gonna, you know, change, um, you know, and, and, you know, it might not, you know, to be honest with you, it might not ever change, you know, it might not ever get better, um, you know, in this area, because it is a rural area, um, and they don't really care about rural areas, you know, I've heard people talk about, um, on their, uh, on Reddit, you know, I've heard people say, you know, oh, we live in a rural area, um, and these towers are terrible, you know, they don't upgrade the towers, they don't do, you know, maintenance on the towers, um, you know, and people have actually seen towers, um, you know, to the point of actually, like, falling apart, you know, like, they don't, um, you know, like, maintain them how they should, you know, in rural areas, um, you know, which is definitely not a good thing, um, you know, that's, that's definitely not a good thing, you know, I think they need to focus more on rural areas, um, you know, and, and, you know, get these, you know, speeds up on par, you know, they, they really need to just, um, 
you know, they, they really need to just improve the upload speeds in this area. You know, that's the main thing, um, you know, that needs to be improved is the upload speed. So, um, but like I said, you know, it's not the end of the day yet. Um, you know, it's still 3.13 uh, p.m., you know, on a Saturday. You know, I'm not going to hold my breath or anything, though, like I said. Um, you know, but I will, you know, push out another video later, you know, later tonight. Um, you know, probably, you know, around 12 or 1 um, you know, t you know, tonight, you know, after Saturday is officially over, um, and, you know, we'll see what we get, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really expecting miracles, like I said, you know, I don't, um, you know, I don't really think that, uh, anything seems to be changing here, so, um, but, you know, you never know, like I said, you know, they could still be working on it, um, you know, they still could be putting the finishing touches on it, but like I said, you know, I'm not gonna hold my breath, um, you know, there's, there's not really anything I can do about it, you know, if they don't, you know, do anything to it, but, you know, if, if I find out, you know, that they lied to me, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be real happy about it, you know, it's also possible, um, you know, that they did, you know, maintenance on it, but it doesn't actually, you know, uh, improve my speed, you know, that's definitely possible too, um, you know, that they could be doing maintenance on the tower or something, you know, but it doesn't actually improve my speeds, um, you know, it might, you know, take a while, you know, too, it might take a little while, um, you know, for the, for the, uh, you know, for it to take effect, so, um, you know, I, I can't really say one way or another, so, you know, um, we're just gonna have to wait and see, you know, so, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's not the end of the day yet, so, you know, I just figured I would get an updated video out, though, for you guys, um, so not bad on this one, <coughs> excuse me, uh, for the download, uh, 574, uh, 4.04 on the upload, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of shitty, but, you know, it is what it is, um, and then, uh, 24 for the ping, so let me actually run one more here. But I definitely do recommend uh, getting like a uh, like a Wi-Fi mess system, you know, if you have uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet um, and you have a big, you know, you have like a big house or something, um, you know, I, I definitely would recommend getting a Wi-Fi mess system of some kind because they really are great. They really are, you know, good. So not bad on that one, 580 for the download, 5.08 uh, for the upload, and then 24 ping. So definitely not too bad on that one, you know, we're getting 500 to 600, you know, uh, pretty much consistently now. Um, but, you know, like I said, you know, there's not really an improvement on the speed. Um, you know, for the upload speed, there's not an improvement, you know, on the ping. Um, you know, there's not an improvement on the download, you know, we're still getting the same speeds for the download, um, you know, which is fine because the download is fine, you know, that's not the problem, the upload is the problem, um, you know, the upload is, you know, total shit in my opinion in this area, um, but, you know, like, like I said, you know, there's nothing I can do about that, you know, the only thing that I would be able to do about that um, is go back to Comcast or Xfinity, um, you know, and me and my mom really don't feel like doing that, you know, we don't feel like paying hundreds of dollars just to have internet, um, you know, and they, and, you know, they have these other plans, you know, that are, that are cheaper, you know, like $30, but the thing is, um, you know, we're getting better download speeds for $40 a month, um, you know, I, I looked into one plan they have for $30, you know, like $30 or $40, um, or $50, something like that, um, you know, a month, and it was like, uh, I think they give you like 200 on the download, and I, and I told my mom, I said, well, mom, I said, you know, we, we get over that, I said, you know, even, um, you know, at times of congestion or something, I said, we still get like 300 to 400, um, you know, on the download, I said, so we're, we're still getting like two, um, you know, two or 300 more, um, you know, sometimes 400 more, you know, on the download, I said, so, um, you know, that's, that's not worth it in my opinion, you know, why pay five or ten dollars more, um, you know, for, you know, lower, you know, lower download speeds, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, I would probably have better upload speeds because it would be cable, um, you know, it would be, you know, coming directly from Comcast, but, um, you know, I, I actually had Comcast, you know, we had Comcast for years, like I've talked about before, um, we had, we had them, uh, since 1994, basically since I was born, um, 
and you know they they just didn't want to give us a better deal you know they never they never wanted to give us a better deal um you know we were with them since 94 you know since basically i was born um and they just you know didn't want to give us better deals you know they always would say oh we don't have any promotions at this time you know we we uh you know you're you're on the cheapest plan you know we were paying like three or four hundred dollars a month um, you know, for like one TV and, you know, internet, it was just, you know, crazy, um, you know, and they would be like, oh, well, you're on the best plan, you know, we can't, um, you know, do anything with it, you know, we can't change it or it'll actually, you know, raise your price, it'll raise your rates and stuff like that, um, so, you know, we just got tired of them and, you know, left them, um, you know, and like I said, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna downgrade, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, jump ship anytime soon, you know, because the thing is, um, you know, I spent all this money on the T-Mobile 5G home internet, you know, the equipment, um, you know, the Chester Cheetah version too, you know, with the band locking and the tower, um, you know, locking, whatever you want to call it, um, and also the, you know, the network mode switching, you know, it has a built-in VPN, um, you know, that's a really nice feature, you know, I don't actually use that, but it's a really nice feature to have if you want to use it, um, you know, just, just all around, you know, better, um, you know, technology, you know, I have a waveform 4x4 antenna connected to it, um, you know, facing out the window, so, um, you know, but like I've said, you know, 5G is not all the way there yet, um, you know, you have to keep that in mind, you know, it's still a new technology, um, you have to keep that in mind, you know, that it's, you know, it's still up and coming, it's not, you know, um, you know, it's, it's basically still in the beta stages, you know, is basically what I'm trying to say, um, so you, you know, you have to keep that in mind, um, you know, that it's definitely not for everybody, so, um, but, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna jump ship or anything, you know, I get aggravated sometimes in these videos, um, but, you know, I look at the price of the, you know, the 5G home internet compared to other prices, um, and then I'm like, you know, well, you know, I, I don't really want to, you know, jump ship after spending 500 and some dollars on a gateway, um, you know, the Chester Cheetah version 2, and then, you know, another three or four hundred dollars on the waveform 4x4 antenna, um, you know, I don't, I don't really want to jump ship, you know, from, um, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, and just, you know, throw my money away, basically, I mean, yeah, um, you know, I could sell the Chester cheetah version too you know i could sell it um you know but I, I don't know if you know anybody around here would actually buy it because there's only a certain amount of people um you know that can get you know t-mobile 5g home internet around here um you know and stuff like that so you have to keep that in mind as well um you know when you you know when you switch um you know if you can actually you know sell the equipment you know if anybody would actually buy it um you know locally or anything so um, but, you know, that's basically the video, guys, you know, I just wanted to give you guys an update on this, like I said, it doesn't look like anything's really changed, um, but, you know, it's almost, uh, you know, it's almost 4 o'clock here, you know, it's 321, um, you know, I'll give it the rest of the day, you know, I'll shoot a video out later, um, and let you guys know if anything has changed, but it doesn't look like anything is going to, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, I kind of, I kind of had my doubts, you know, like I've said in my other videos, you know, I kind of had my doubts, um, you know, about it, I, I kind of said in my other videos, I forget how I worded it now, um, I, I kind of said, you know, uh, hope for the, hope for the best, but expect the worst, that's basically what I said, um, in my other videos, you know, so that's basically what I'm doing, you know, I'm hoping for the best, um, but I'm also expecting the worst, you know, which, you know, in my opinion, you know, or in, in my case, you know, it would be, um, you know, just dealing with the, you know, the inconsistent upload speed, you know, that I, that I get, um, you know, there's not really anything I can do about it, you know, so, um, you know, but for the download speeds, like I said, you know, we get more, um, you know, for the download than we do with the, you know, if we, if we paid, you know, 40 or $50 a month for Comcast, you know, cheaper plan, um, you know, we get more on the download, you know, the only, the only area that we actually suffer in, um, is the upload speed, so, um, you know, the download is perfectly fine, so if they could get the upload speed better in this area, um, and, you know, maybe get the ping, you know, to be a little bit more consistent, you know, I would be fine, you know, I'd be, you know, 100% happy, um, you know, right now, I would probably have to say that I'm, like, you know, maybe 80% happy with it, um, you know, so it's not gonna, you know, it's not like I'm gonna jump ship or anything, like I said, um, you know, especially, you know, after spending all the money on the, on the stuff that I've put into it, so, um, you know, I'm definitely, you know, gonna be sticking with them for a while, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.